I'm going to try and do two fifths and one third right now. And so because the denominators aren't the same, we need to find a common denominator, which is um, a number that both 5 and 3 go into. So we could use 15 because 5 times 3 equals 15. Next, you need to find out how many times 5 goes into 15. No, yeah, which is 3. And then you have to times 2 by 3, so you get 6. And then how many times 3 goes into 15, so you get 5. And now the denominators are the same, you just add the top numbers, which gets you 11 over 15, but you don't add the bottom numbers. Like that, and there's your answer. Yay, done, finished.